The new era of vertical flight has arrived. The next generation Fokker Aghelis Fe 269 development project promises to produce a fighter aircraft capable of operating from a variety of terrains, even in hard to reach areas. With a more efficient propulsion system and lighter materials, the latest FA-269 is ready to exceed expectations. The Fokker Aghelis FA-269 is a very interesting experimental aircraft from Germany during World War II. This aircraft was designed with a very unique concept, namely combining vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Now it is back in modern technology. With rapid developments in aerodynamics, composite materials and propulsion systems, expanding the potential in the world of military and civil aviation. Combining turboshaft engines and electric propulsion systems, the next generation FA-269 will adopt a hybrid propulsion system. The main engine will support high cruising speeds, while the electric motor provides additional thrust for vertical takeoffs and landings, reducing fuel requirements and carbon emissions. Equipped with an AI-based avionics system, the FA-269 will have autonomous flight capabilities. This technology enables automatic navigation, obstacle detection and avoidance, and enhances the pilot's situational awareness through an augmented reality head-up display. With a combination of cutting-edge technology and revolutionary design concepts, the next-generation Fokker Achilles FE 269 is not only a symbol of aviation innovation heritage, but also carries a vision of the future in the global aviation industry. This aircraft is expected to be a pioneer in the increasingly competitive modern VTOL segment. The next generation FA269 will be a serious competitor in the global VTOL aircraft market. Its advantages include operational flexibility, high fuel efficiency and multi-purpose capabilities that can be adjusted to various needs. This aircraft is capable of operating in difficult terrain without the need for conventional runways, making it an ideal choice for missions in remote, densely populated areas or areas with minimal infrastructure. 